and welcome to my channel. I am Alicia Marie and this is XO Alicia Marie. Thanks for joining me today. I'm kind of wearing this hat, just being a little funny. It's uh, one of my hipster hats, but I haven't worn it yet because it still has the tag on it. I got this at TJ Maxx for like 14 bucks and this is the most beautiful hat I've ever seen. It's got a weave to it and um, only thing is, I'm not taking it with me where I'm going. I'm just wearing it for fun in this video. Kind of been getting into hats, but let me tell you, it takes a particular type of hat to even make me feel good and look good. And it doesn't even look good right now. Like I kind of, sometimes I'll like do my hair to the side, you know, when I'm going out. Anyways, it'll be for fun. So if you haven't seen my previous video of the unboxing of the Bayes Weekender Mini Convertible, please check that video out. Uh, other than that, today is going to be a pack with me in the Bay's Weekender Mini. So today's pack with me video is going to be in the Bay's Weekender Mini. And if you haven't seen my unboxing video, please check that out. It's the video right before this one. Let's get started. All right, everybody, there might be some bright light going on. I've got pretty much a bunch of lights on in this room just because the sun changes. There's my little... <laughs> filming station but I want to show you some of the things that I have to pack on here and actually you know what I just realized it does not include the items that I have in the bottom all right here is a little bit of a wide shot of all the stuff that I'm gonna be packing in my new bag and I guess it's time to realize that I am NOT returning it I like to wait to take the tags off on stuff if you guys do the same comment down below it's just something i've been doing for quite some time you know sometimes you buy something and you don't like it and you either have to send it back or mostly because you have to send it back but sometimes you just have buyer's remorse as well i've done that a few times who hasn't so here is the bay's weekender mini convertible so i will be packing the bottom right here as well so I'm just gonna give you a little rundown. I do wanna mention something first. Y'all, I pre-pack, okay? I pre-pack at least four to five days in advance. And there's a strategic reason why I do this. As soon as I know I'm gonna travel and I'm gonna be away from home, I start to think of all the things that I forget or the things that I realize I need during my trip. I like to pre-pack because my brain starts to get into that pre-packing mode. I just forget less things that way. Now, some of y'all might do a packing list and I used to do that, except, you know, I mean, me personally, I would rather type it up on a computer so that I can add more things as I need. Maybe you'll just make a list. Another thing that I do as part of my pre-packing to go anywhere is I actually have a separate makeup bag, or not makeup bag, but I have a separate, like, I guess you could say bathroom bag, dop kit that I like to already keep with super teeny tiny travel, you know, items that I need. Um, I actually order a lot of extra stuff from Amazon, but I will order like five milliliter, 10 milliliter size things. That way when I'm doing all carry on, which is what I'm doing for this trip to LA tomorrow, that way I can have my entire court bag and have so many items in here. Like there's a lot in here. There's many, double cleanser there's many cleanser there's a super teeny tiny sunscreen anyways it's in there you name it teeny tiny lip scrub like i just put a dab of everything when it's you know like a little three-day trip so i'm going to turn the camera back around and kind of go over some of the items that i'm taking with me because guess what you might look at this and it might trigger for you to realize oh you forgot to pack something or oh maybe you should pack something so let's get started all right, today I'm gonna to use my new gimbal. That way the footage is gonna be super smooth. Okay, so let's just go over some of the items that I'm gonna be packing. So the first thing we're gonna look at is my court bag. This obviously is, you know, it's gonna have all my liquids because I'm doing both carry-ons with a roller and the Bay's Weekender mini convertible. So this is all I need as far as liquids. I do have solid stuff separated. I've got a book to read, The Diary of a Manhattan Call Girl. Y'all, this got turned into a Amazon Prime series. Darren Star, this is a very old book. Like you can't even find this book on 
Audible or uh, Kindle, a real call girl actually started a blog when blogs started, and she was completely anonymous. Anywho, um, this was the very first book, and it got turned into an Amazon Prime series, and I watched the whole thing like four times. It's so cute, except it's a girl based in London, so they changed it up a little bit. But um, yeah, I started reading this, and honestly, I just stopped a couple years ago, so I'm just gonna start all over again. But I'm taking this with me on the book or on the plane. I've got my reading glasses. Also, I've got this really cool water bottle. I got this in Amsterdam earlier this year at one of the hotels I was staying at. This is how they gave you your bottled water. And of course, I took home four of these because they are just, look at them, they're just beautiful. And then I've got, now this is something I ordered recently from Poshmark, except right when I ordered this, I didn't realize that there were two others that were black. Sorry, I ordered this before I ordered my Bay's Weekender. And I was just gonna start off with this and then I just started getting googly-eyed at everything around Bay's. So, um, next time I order from Bay's or next time I see one that pops up on Poshmark, I'm gonna go ahead and order the black one so everything matches and then just throw this back to Poshmark. But this is the airplane seat organizer. So I've already added a few snacks in there and my, uh, just in case I want to take a little nappy nap. And of course I've got another one of these, but you know, you've got your wet ones. These really smell like alcohol, so I want to get rid of them. So I'm of course going to wipe down everything. I don't think I have anything else in here. So I've kind of got that prepared a little bit. There's the water bottle. Okay. So I'm also including this, which is what I normally use whenever I've got you know, a tote bag or a purse that's really wobbly. I got this off of Amazon as well. Love these pens, they're the Pilot Friction Pens, and this is what I use my planner. Hands down, I don't even need whiteout anymore once I start using that. And I've got a couple items in here. I've got these cute little bijou uh, wipes that I actually got from the Asian grocery store here in Austin. It's in Cedar Park, it's called H Mart. And of course I had to have these because they're pink and I'm already pre-planning my solo trip to Paris, France next year. So of course I got four of these. <laughs> I just wanna use them because they're so cute. Now I've had this for a very long time. A very, I have still been trying to find this online, but it's by this little company. I forgot the name, but everything is super cute and tiny inside, but I have backup iPhone headphones, a cord, you name it, a plug for both Android and iPhone, all up in here. And for sure, my JBL noise canceling headphones. I'm gonna take them out so you can see how gorgeous they are. Y'all, This, these are the bomb. These are so worth it. And here's the thing, you have to get over the ear. That is the only way you're gonna get true noise canceling headphones when they're over the ear, obviously. But these are, ugh, the white ones are just so gorgeous. And I also use this when my kid goes to bed, but then I wanna watch a movie with some surround sound. These are awesome. So these always go with me on a trip. I always get JBL. I also got some more snacks. I'm just gonna throw, you'll see how I put it together. Toothbrush, because I do have toothpaste in here just in case you want that feeling of feeling fresh. Now these are the KN95 masks. Again, I went to Europe earlier this year and these are required everywhere that you go. So guess what? I have a bunch left over and they're way more solid than little cloth masks. And now I know why in other countries they are <laughs> They have a lot less COVID breakouts than Americans because we just wear these cheap little cloth masks thinking that that, you know, prevents a virus. Not the truth, you know, definitely not true. Um, I do have a pair of socks, y'all. I know it's a little weird, but um, I like to take my shoes off on the plane, but I don't want to be barefoot and I wear my sneakers barefoot. So definitely having gum that actually needs to go over here. 
use some other things like they're in the last minute hair concealer this is just something cheap i got i forgot where i got this but look y'all it's really cool it's like a it's like a brown powder and if you because i got gray but i don't have a lot and sometimes you just want to pat pat and you can't carry an aerosol all the time so this is awesome if you can find this or something like this it's basically like a dark brown dry shampoo that's what i'm trying to say sorry y'all um and then of course i'm taking my bad girl balm with me this is my product y'all i started the side hustle january 2021 and it is finally on amazon so far just this one tattoo and body balm but i'm actually gonna do some video in los angeles with the original and the cool thing is when you have a solid balm you can take this on a plane so this is a whole one and a half ounce container this is why i'm so passionate about making balms or things in solid form i want to make products that aren't liquid that are solid and in that way you can take it with you and take more than what is required in a quart bag and of course this is this is a balm you can use it anywhere on your body um, if your face can take the essential oils that are in here, it works great. Um, you can also put this on your hair, your heels, you name it. You can really do a lot with a balm, and that's why I love balms as well. Just change up the uh, concoctions, and you know this could even be a facial oil balm cleanser for you. Now this is my charger. It's like a 10,000, I don't know what they call it, amps. This thing lasts a long time. I don't think I've ever run out of battery, but let me tell you, this thing came in handy when I was in Europe because we were out all day long and you had two people that had to use that. I am putting these shoes on the bottom just to even out and my makeup bag. I got this off of Amazon as well. And uh, just because this is really sturdy, I wanna, wanted to go ahead and put it in the bottom of the base weekend or mini and you'll see how i pack all that in here in a minute all right just a couple more items that i'm gonna fit i've got the strap that came with the base weekend or mini just in case i need to use it i want to take it with me now i have this little wallet i got this from aliexpress it's so cute and actually what i'm actually going to be doing is i'm chaining this I'm sorry I'm not using this chain but in the Bay's Weekender Mini and I'll show you here in a little bit there is a keychain string that I'm gonna attach this to I've got like $25 in cash in here and then I've got my backup credit card and I learned this hack from a youtuber I follow her name is Allison and she does a lot of solo female trips and she actually moved to Austin last year or this year a lot of YouTubers are moving to Austin. I have two people I follow already have moved to Austin. So um, kind of cool, we're turning into Los Angeles. But um, yeah, she told me about a hack that you should always keep backup cash, backup ID, backup credit card in like your hotel or where you're staying. That way if you're out and about and God forbid you lose your wallet, your card, someone steals it from you, then you can immediately go back to where you're staying and you have backup. So that's what this is going to be. And it's going to stay in my Bay's Weekend or Mini. I'm not taking this chain, but this is what I used whenever I had a little slim wallet uh, when I was in Europe. That way I could pull my wallet out and look how long it is. And then it goes right back in. And you know what? If anyone's watching me and they see me do this, they know not to steal from me. Okay, sorry. Move on to the next chump. <laughs> Um, here's two things I am going to be hooking on the outside of my bays. I need my Apple AirPods, y'all. Must have them when I'm not on the plane. When I'm on the plane, I wear the JBLs. And then, of course, this little spray hand sanitizer. It spritz a mist out. So cute. So I need to use that up. And then here's another item, another base item that I bought off of Poshmark. Here's the thing, I ordered this thinking it was the crossbody, and it was, except I was too excited, I did not look at all the pictures, and it turns out that it was missing 
I guess the side had popped off. So I decided to order this chain from Amazon. Or I guess you'd say this wristlet wristband. And I like that it's double ended. I also have other wristbands that are just single ended and I like to switch them out. So I found one with really beautiful black hardware. But then look, it's got this cute Hawaiian flower floral pattern. And it kind of just gives, it kind of just makes this look a little cooler, right? And then of course, if you need a hook, sorry about my nails, y'all. They are just falling off left and right. I'm not perfect, okay. <laughs> and then I can put my key, uh, my keys on here. Now, when I'm traveling, I keep my car keys in my travel bag. I don't take them with me, but if I ever use this to go to a concert, I don't know if you know, but um, in Austin, Texas, if you go to a concert, you cannot bring any bag in bigger than pretty much this, which is I don't know, maybe nine, nine inches and maybe five inches. Um, other than that, you can only bring a clear bag and it still can't be that much bigger than this. So yes, you have to get used to having a lot of wristlets. And what I loved about this is Y'all, look at all the room. Like, look at all this room. There's enough room to put makeup in here, but then you can put your cards and then this for like loose change. And then a backup, look at that. You can put your passport in here and then the secret compartment. That's what I love about this. Now, this is already, this is not available on the Bay's website. As of right now, as of July 20th, 2022, but I am waiting because I still want this as a crossbody, but it's okay. I may not get it. I might just wait till I get their full luggage because when you spend over like 150, you get free shipping. So, um, yeah. So these are the things I'm gonna pack today. Just one more little through. We've got all this stuff. Okay, so those are all the things I'm gonna pack. Now, I just wanna preface by saying, I am purposely not overpacking. I know when I get to the airport, I might smell something great. Austin Bergstrom, which is Austin's international airport, has the best restaurants that I've ever seen in any airport I've ever been in. Okay, besides the one in Amsterdam, Amsterdam had the most beautiful freaking airport, y'all. Like, but that was Europe, right? That That's standard for them. You come to Austin Bergstrom, you're gonna get, I think uh, actually several of the restaurants in there are local Austin like nostalgic places that have been around for decades. I'm probably gonna get something really good while I'm waiting. And if I you know, end up having to grab something to put in my bag, I wanna make room for that. Also, same thing with my roll-on carry, uh, my roller luggage. I purposely am not overpacking because I already know I'm gonna hit up House of Intuition. I bought their candles once a few years ago and holy cow, their shipping is more than half of the candle. And they don't even, as far as I know, back then, the times I've wanted to order, they do not do like order five candles and you get free shipping. They, they don't, they charge per candle because they're also insured when they ship them to you. So I'm hitting up House of Intuition, y'all. I've been dreaming about this for years. So yeah, I'm gonna stock up as much as I can handle without gaining too much weight in my baggage. So I purposely am not overpacking. I'm gonna go thrift shopping. I know I'm probably gonna find something, especially LA thrift shops. They get, they, they have some of the coolest stuff because obviously they come from like all over the United States. So here we go, let's pack. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to do this really cool top view before my camera falls. So we have the laptop sleeve in here, but I'm just gonna leave that in there. I'm actually gonna keep my laptop in my rolling luggage because it's just gonna add too much weight. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually unpack the bottom.
All right, so now I'm gonna wear the bag. I'm five foot three. That way you can see how big the Weekender Mini Convertible is against my body. Um, in case any of you ladies are shorties like me. So here we go. So here's me, five foot three. And you can see it's a really good size on the side. It's very, it's pretty comfortable actually. This feels really good. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you thought this was a pretty good review. And again, if you haven't seen my actual unboxing video, just in case you're curious about how the Bay's Weekender Mini arrives, it's in my previous video to this one. Take care. Thank you.